the world of the 1920s was all topsy-turvy, ups and downs. It's coming out of the Great War that saw millions of people die over basically nothing. We're coming out of a flu pandemic that killed 600,000 or so. Um, the world is a crazy place to the people that lived through that time period. And then you get Einstein coming in and his theory of relativity. Now, I don't want to go into it because I don't quite understand everything that's going on. But in Einstein's theory of relativity, what he argues is that there's not really one truth that they're depending on different factors. Everything is relative to each other. So this is going to have a big implication for the time period. Um, this is going to merge with ideas of modernism in art and, and uh, culture. So in this idea of modernism, the, this new technology, this new science is going to cause breaks with tradition. We can see this in, uh, say, something like we're going to talk later with the Scopes trial, where there's going to be a break between scientific innovation and traditional fundamentalist religion. The, all of this is causing people to kind of become unmoored, unhinged. Then they look at the horrors of World War I, and artists uh, are going to start rejecting what they thought it meant to be civilized. They start rejecting that old European concept of what art was truly was. Uh, Leonardo and Donatello and all the other Ninja Turtles, they're going to say that, yeah, they did great things, but we're going to reject that because if they thought that was civilized, we ought nothing to do with it because that led to World War I. They also start questioning things. When you merge that with Einstein's theory that there is no one truth, they start asking, well, does God exist? Is there any rational order to the universe or is it all just chaos? Does progress even exist? They reject that old progressive year. They say, no, 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 we're not doing that anymore. This is going to influence what's, uh, authors of, of what's called the lost generation. Not lost because they didn't know where they were, but lost because they were lost trying to understand their place in the universe. They, they rejected the old society. They rejected the consumerism of the modern society of the 1920s. People like F. Scott Fitzgerald and Ernest Hemingway, they're going to be searching for some new purpose in the world. They don't find it in consumerism and they don't find it in the past.